Hi, and welcome back to another video. So today I want to discuss the Strun Prime and why the Strun Prime is actually broken. So usually when people build their Strun Prime, and this is specifically all for the incarnate form that's bugged, uh, they go for something like the multi-shot here, the reload speed here, and then usually like the, the critical chance or maybe this hybrid critical status chance as the fourth evolution. Uh, this nets you in the end with a nice 60% critical and 46% status chance, which, you know, is really decent. But uh, let's say we want to build for status now, add on a 60-60 status mod. We can see that the status chance on the Uncarnan form increases to 73.6, which makes sense because if we take our base, which was 46, and we add 60%, we can see this becomes 73.6, which is what we see there. Now, if we take this mod off and go back to the fourth evolution, let's say we pick this status chance instead. So instead of it being 46, it should be what? 57.3. So we pick this. And what now happens is that instead of the status chance being 57.6, uh, 57.3, sorry, it becomes 182%. And this is because this 46% chance or this increase, this 11.3% increase is actually for some reason multiplied by the initial multi-shot on this weapon. If we go back to the calculator, um, let's take these 11.3 and multiply this by 12. We get 135.6. We add that to the initial 46 that was on the weapon. We get 181.6, which makes this 182. Now, what happens to this 182 is that it's actually the new base status chance. So when we now add on our 6060 status mod, you will see that this will go up to 291.2, which to prove again, 182 plus 60%, 291.2. Uh, so with this, you can actually get some really funny status numbers, which looks like this, uh, 1037%. Now I am running this status chance Riven. Uh, so without it, it would still be ridiculous at 782%. Per um, and these are all the status mods that you can possibly find in a game, more or less. Now, this is not really useful to blast through any kind of missions because it's, it's fire radiation. It's, you know, it's decent, but it will not actually scale that well. So instead, uh, I've concocted this little bit more innovative build, possibly, which is where I'm running primary blight. And because of me rolling this toxin riven, I was like, okay, well, let's just fully invest into toxin damage over time. So I'm running Primary Blight, which on Toxin status effects uh, give me, uh, gives me 3.6 critical damage and 1.8 multi-shot for 12 seconds, which stacks up to 40 times. Um, you will see that with this ridiculous status chance, which is now sitting for this build at around 700%, we get basically this, this arcane filled out with one shot on Incarnate Form. And what's important to note is that critical damage is actually multiplicative for the uh, toxin dot over time. So critical damage is still decent to invest in, which is why I also have critical deceleration on this build to up the critical chance uh, above 100% to 144. So really uh, your, your critical is still insane as well. Uh, and then for this build, we're running Galvanized Sevi for more upfront uh, damage to increase the toxin damage procs uh, as well. Uh, and then all of these are pretty much, it's, it's multi-shot, more toxin, uh, the Prime Bane mod, and Lingering Torment to increase the duration of the toxin procs. So what this then looks like is something like this. Let me get our, our little boys get some overguard so we don't fall over all the time 31 toxin procs 40 
60, 84, 100, 200. We now get more multi-shot from the arcane, almost 400. So you can see that this is this is quite decent. Like we're we're tearing through armored enemies, steel path level 205, which is pretty crazy because toxin shouldn't be good against this at all. Um, so now to further up this damage, we can use Dante, or I opted for Dante, sh should I say, uh, because Dante on his fourth ability has one of his costs is status damage increase as well as status for an ability and i believe the skills multiplicatively on the toxin dots and he also has his ability where he deals all of the uh, damage over time effects on enemies as upfront damage and it multiplies by 8.5 uh, times because i'm running quite a bit of power strength and some duration uh, and then i'm also running roar because roar is faction damage um, so it's another 58.2% more damage on the Toxin Dots. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much the, the Dante build. And if we then look at it with this little bird active, we can see what it looks like. So we get the bird. It then goes and it applies all of the turn abilities to these enemies. And as you can see, they are already dying a little bit faster. That's a pretty big toxin proc. As you can see, 200 toxin procs in one shot, uh, 140 in one shot. So th this is ridiculous. Now, if we, and I didn't even activate Roar. If we now add in uh, everything, so we have our birds, we have Roar, and then we shoot some compressor bullets on this. To armor strip because I am running two corrosive, uh, two emerald shards for a corrosive strip. You can see 3.6 million toxin proc, 6.3 million toxin proc, 4.5. It 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 be just becomes absolutely ridiculous. Um, you can then also combine this with his last ability, like I said, to nuke. So let's get that ready. Strip these guys with Unaru instead. Uh, and then we shoot, and they pretty much all die. Way too fast for me even to, to cast the nuke, so let's go back and instead have them armored. Here we go. And we nuke. Now this is not too crazy, but once you uh, armor strip them, it becomes quite insane. So let's do that. So we armor strip. You can see the problem pretty much is that because of the because of the toxin procs that that's on them the 100 plus that you get for one shot in incarnate form they just immediately die uh, so you cannot even do the nuke but probably because uh, probably on higher levels uh, it will be a bit more useful to have this last ability as a nuke um, so yeah that's about it uh, just wanting to talk about the, the strun and that a status built on it is actually really viable as well. Um, yeah, bye.